<sighs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a vlog today. It's a vlog and it's my last week without a baby. What? It's so wild. It's literally my last week at home before we go to have the baby. Um, it's really crazy. So today what I wanted to do is go through my hospital bag with you guys. And I also wanted to just have a chat with you about plans and everything. And Simon and I got a new car seat by Cybex Platinum. By Cybex, I'm sorry. And the, the car seat is called Q Cloud Platinum. So we're going to be installing that. I really loved reviewing the vacuum cleaners with Simon. So what I'm going to do is get his help in installing the... <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> in installing the car seat. The bump is outrageous. It is really really big um the baby is measuring huge guys so let me just adjust you yeah so the baby is measuring huge he's measuring 45 weeks at 38 weeks so he's going to be born like a like a toddler basically so i cannot wait due to his size we're having um an elective c-section um i've told a couple of you guys but now all of you know and i'm very very glad about that because with my past stuff and you know the losses and all that stuff i just don't want to be fussing with trying to squeeze a walrus through a non-walrus doorway if it makes sense and i don't want to risk any of that um i don't care what's natural what's not natural all i care about is getting my kid here safely that is number one priority when people have told me but the healing takes longer and i'm like but growing him takes nine months if something goes wrong i'm gonna have to do it again do you understand that, Susan? So, um, that's the choice. I feel very excited about it. I feel like it's going to be a party for me. I feel like I'm going to, like, the most exciting party of my life. I'm excited to eat sushi, sashimi, salami, everything E, champagne E. Like, I'm so excited to not worry anymore about things I'm eating. I want to live, eat some chicken liver pate. I'm just super duper excited. And I've got my bag here. I've never been to a hospital to have a baby before. And consider the fact that I'm actually staying there for five, six days because it's a surgery. So excited. So this is the bag. Come here. So, boom. Guys, these slippers are by Lanes London. And they have a beautiful panther brooch. Guys, are you kidding me? look at the intricate beauty of this thing um simon stole my slippers uh, i don't know how he's size 13 and i'm size 6 so uh, i don't really know how he stole them but um i had some from a spa which were really really oversized but he stole them in his um what are they called the backs of the foot drags on the floor but whatever he took them so i got those for myself yes they're a bit glam for hospital but did that ever stop us guys diapers um diapers this is by the way my bag this is not the baby's bag i have diapers real fit for women i've got no idea everyone told me i need them i have pads maternity pads and boob pads and um, this is where all the men have already switched off from the channel that's fine i've got this little sachet with black underwear and some samples of baby wipes fine that's not interesting this is all to clothe the nether regions I've got my La Prairie skincare here. Uh, I've got all of my travel bits and bobs. And there they are. Beautiful, beautiful skincare that I cannot wait to lather on the face. Once he's here, there it is. And I don't really have to pack because this is a full travel bag. So he's got makeup remover in there. It's got everything. So it goes in there. In here is my camera. This is you guys. This is another version of you guys. Here it is. And the charger and everything. So that if I feel like filming, I will. This. Do not laugh at me. Do not laugh at me. Do not laugh at me. This is my makeup bag. Brushes. Concealers. I've got hula bronzer. I've got all of it. Guys, you know, I don't want my son to think I'm ugly. Like, what do you mean? I don't want him to be like, wow, that's my mum? Like, come on, really? Is this what I've been given? Is this what we're working with? And then this is a toiletry bag. 
makeup removers, hairbrush, deodorant, dry shampoo. Everyone's been recommending this. Probiotic drops for the infant in case he needs them. Um, so it's just a hairbrush and things like that. And under here is black dress, black leggings, black nursing bra, black t-shirt and black singlet. That's what I am bringing all black. And in another bag, yes, I have another bag. I am taking a bathrobe. In another bag, I am taking a bathrobe, a beautiful white, not white, gray jumper and gray tracksuit so that I can be comfortable. But that is what I'm taking. I'm also taking, I'm also taking my laptop, my chargers, a book to read. I bet all of the mums are now laughing, like, what book are you going to read? Your life's never going to be the same. This is what I've seen a lot of people say, that my life is never going to be the same. My life is just going to disintegrate into screaming and yelling and babies, and it might. And then I've heard another tribe of women saying that it's going to be the biggest joy, and it's so easy to handle, and I think babies are like people, so we'll just see what kind of person he is. Not like people, they are people. So we'll see what kind of person he is. And what does go from there, you know? Like, you cannot decide before. So, um, I'm gonna bring my laptop, I'm gonna bring all that stuff, so that for five days, I've got something to do apart from look at him, which everyone says they really, really highly enjoy. So without further ado, guys, let's go and let's um, put the Cybex into our car. Simon's super excited, so let's do that now. It says no knife. I know, but if you're careful. Knock knife. Joy. I'm excited to see this. Me too. It means we can use it on the legs of the Cybex. Do you want to explain your bath? It's all compatible. All the renovations. <laughs> People like when you review the gadgets. Huh? Yeah. Like this. Oh, it's so snazzy. Oh, so these are the attachments to uh, attach to the pram, huh? Mm-hmm. Luxury travel redefined from birth to approximately 12 months. Is he going to fly business after? Engineered in Germany. It's beautiful. It's Doesn't it like pull out like so you can oh, lie see. down? I think this... Yeah, this kind of... Yeah. We'll get to that later on. It extends. Oh, you like it? You're smiling. <laughs> So good looking. Oh my God, what's this? Maybe this is going to be harder than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think so. I was going to time us. How long is it going to take? No. Should we find a video online? I know Cybex has them. I'll read the instructions. Okay. Oh, is this where you put out your... Okay. That's so beautiful. Oh, it's soft. Like a womb. Look at this cushion he gets. Until the child reaches this limit, if there's a risk of seizure, they can face forward too early. So past this line, then he can't use it anymore. Really? Yeah. All right. So check this out. That's um, the head cover to make sure he doesn't get sun in his eyes. Wow. Then it goes down. It's so space age. Beautiful. Hoop, yeah? So we're trying to recline, yeah. Let's recline. Oh, oh, it's like a business class. Yeah. See? It says upright and then recline and he goes out flat. Oh my God. Who's this lucky guy? Uh, recline up. And that's where you, when you drive. And this has to be down in another position for driving as well. So halfway through, what do you think? They're good. Pretty easy. Oh yeah? Yeah, because the thing about this car is it has all the anchor points there. Yeah. It's all the anchor points, we don't need to install it. And it's done. Is that it? That's it. So to undo this, you have to... Yeah, so say you arrive at the shop. Yeah, good work, a flash, eh? Yeah, don't so... you just take the, the, the loop off? You have to unclip it. Yeah. Like that. And then you have to... Put it back? Around. And in that little patch. And you have to store it all sack. the time. Yeah. Who knew this? I know. I have no idea you have to do this. Dad life? This, this, this slide, but you need the right position. Put up the carry. Push up. And then I'm 
unlock him. Then he's out. Then he's out. Close that. Make sure you don't twist this. Thing. I won't be having to do this, will I? No. Once it's done, it's done. And then up there. This one. The other one. Lying down. And that locks it into the car. There you go, it snaps. Oh, that looks much more center. Oh, thank God. Mm -hmm. And then you... Say he's in there. Put this first into the slot. And then you just push down and it clicks. And you have to take these little straps out every time. <laughs> I had no idea you had to do this every time. And this position needs to go down. All the way down, to like, just the driving position yeah. to protect. Oh, he's perfectly centered now. And then these straps go over, like so. Top anchor, put that in, zip him up. I don't know how tight this needs to be. I don't think it needs to be that tight. And as for um, the inside, let me just come in. Right, to tell them. It's done. Perfect. Are you going to put baby on board? Yeah. Looks good, huh? It looks so sophisticated. It looks so comfortable. We've got a mirror there. Do you reckon I'll be able to get it out myself? Yeah. Well, as good as you sit down there, I think, mm -hmm, and yeah. then undo him. So, this is the garage and the way up to the renovation. Can I film the renovation? This is a secluded area that I don't go into. Simon has built this wall here. Oops. Simon has built a wall that's the rest of our house in there. And this is the bedroom. Oh, were you gonna strip the paint? Or tomorrow? Tomorrow. And this used to be an old bathroom, didn't it? Yep. And what have you done? Stripped it out. I'm going to redo it all. Look at this. How oh, you've done this? Just leveling the walls. No fat in them. This is where the bath is going to be? Yeah. Shower? I'm so excited. So yeah, everyone's asking if you're going to finish by the time the baby's here. Unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't understand what the rush is. Like as, as soon as long as you finish by Christmas. Yeah. Exactly. I don't know why everyone is fixated on that. Yeah. I'm rushing. Yeah. Like, what's the baby gonna do? Leave us if if it's not finished. Yeah. Screw you guys. Screw you guys. I'm going home. Yes. Wow. Well done. So I just wanted to show them the update. Hi guys, I'm just out of the shower. I hope the vlog is not too discombobulated, convoluted, but um, I think I'm gonna end it here. I think this might be my last day before C-section. I'm not sure, fingers crossed. And um, my mum left a little message for us. So um, I'm gonna pop it right here. And uh, if the next video you see on Wednesday is a fashion one, that means I'm in hospital. And if not, then I'll see you next week for our regular stuff all right love you lots like j dots bye hello everybody hello mother of margarita nazarenka is here in london just sending you hello we're still all at home in uk and i just wanted to tell you how i'm spending my time being at home what i'm doing as you know, um, Margarita is expecting a baby soon, and so we're all waiting, we're all excited. And what I want to say, I, as a future grandmother, also preparing in my way. So um, what I decided to do 
is to continue our Russian tradition. For example, particular one is to make Russian pierogi, Russian, you know, pastry, special pastry, which my grandma used to do, my mom used to do, and I never learned myself. And it was all my life um, I was thinking about that one day I need to learn that. But I never had a time. And now I can tell you that being at home for a while, I practicing, I used to practice with the YouTube how to make them, the Russian pierogi. You know, pierogi is a pastry with um, some fillings inside. A popular one in Russia, it's um, one with meat and another one with the cabbage. This is what, for example, I like. There's also can be sweet pastry, like you know, with raisin, with cherries, many things. But in our family, particularly, everybody liked with uh, cabbage and another one with uh, meat. I, I made them, for example, five times, I think, and finally I am good at it. I'm so happy, I'm ready now. So the baby going to be born and as a grandmother, I will entertain the boy, it's going to be a boy, in a nice way. How I remember when I was child, grandmother, make a pierogi already Sunday, because it's a complicated process, quite long. So every Sunday I feel smell of nice pastry in the kitchen and grandma made a lot of them because whole family coming together for dinner and everybody eating their pastry which they like, pierogi and all that. But, but my grandmother did with many things and my mom did as well, So, but nobody teached me. And so now I present you my Pierogi! Ta -da! Look at that! Look at that! Smell is beautiful. Smell is beautiful. Let me take one. Let me take one, put on the plate. This is how they look like. Look, guys. Perfection! This particular one with the cabbage I made. And it's nice to have it for breakfast, for with the coffee for dinner. I don't know, like you can eat all the time. So it's good also to have a traditions like everybody sitting around the long table, eating this pierogi with the different um, feelings inside and drinking tea or coffee. You can eat with bouillon as well, you know, with um, uh, how to say bouillon, bouillon, everybody knows. And so now I'm good at it. This is with a cabbage particular. I'm ready for my little boy. So thank you very much. This is what me, Irina, doing at home alone during this time, not bored at all, but become a great chef.